Hello and welcome to this short briefing. We are going to talk about overspeed prevention and recovery. VMO MMO accident is a frequent situation in operation. In service, experience shows that it happens on average once every 1,400 flights. Therefore, it is important to understand and apply the techniques. We will have a closer look at both techniques, prevention and recovery. Let's start with overspeed prevention. When you encounter significant speed variation close to VMO, MMO, prevention is possible. First of all, keep autopilot and auto thrust to remain on the internet flight path while thrust automatically reduces to idle. Second, select a lower speed target to increase the margin to VMO, MMO. However, do not select a speed below green dot as autotrust will command idle until the aircraft reaches the selected speed target. Then monitor the spin trend. At any time when the spin trend row approaches or exceeds VMO, MMO, use the speed brakes. Depending on the conditions, prevention may not be sufficient to avoid exceeding VMO, MMO, and the overspeed recovery technique must be applied. One more time, keep autopilot and auto trust. Use the speed brakes. This is the most efficient way to decelerate. And then monitor idle thrust. For any reason, if auto thrust is disconnected, set thrust levels to idle. On A350 and A380, the speed brakes will automatically extend. The autopilot disconnection and high speed protection activation will occur only in the case of severe and prolonged VMO MMO accidents. Therefore, do not anticipate high speed protection activation by the early disconnection of autopilot. In any case, the high speed protection will command an appropriate vertical load factor. Then, in the case of autopilot disconnection due to high speed protection activation, smoothly adjust the pitch attitude, in particular at high altitude. Keep the speed brakes to this rate below VMO MMO. After our speed recovery, retract the speed brakes when appropriate. not too early so that VMO, MMO is not exceeded again and not too late to avoid the speed decay. If the auto thrust is off, the flight crew should manually adjust thrust levels. If the autopilot is disconnected due to high speed protection activation, re-engage the autopilot. To conclude this briefing as instructors, it is important to remind your trainees of both techniques, overspeed prevention and recovery, I describe in your flight crew technique manual. It is also important to highlight that in the case of overspeed warning triggering, the key points are keep autopilot and auto trust, and use speed brakes to this rate below VMO, MMO. I hope you enjoy this briefing and I will see you around for the next one.